Okay, first thing you need to do is what? Find a spot to put your name on the front of your book. Okay. What side words do you see? Get your highlighter ready. Uh, oh, hang on. I see the word did in the title. Shh, and get in the title. Now go down to the bottom and somebody said it. What else do you see? It has. Has. I see has two times. Is. A. Uh, two times. And I think that's it. Now for some one of our words yet. All right. Highlighter down and pencil ready. Up here at the top, this um, this is a tricky word. W H is one of our H brothers says, "hua," but this A is cheating. It's not the word "what." Remember, it's "what." Yes, "what did dad get?" Yeah, you're right. There's a question mark right there. So let's read that like a question. Everybody, read the title for me. What did dad get? It's by Ed Floyd. What did Ed Floyd do? Wrote the story, illustrated by Julia Gorton. What did Julia Gorton do? Drew the pictures, yes. Okay. Now, does this look like fiction or informational text? I think you're right. I think it's fiction. But does it look like realistic fiction or fantasy? I think it might be realistic fiction. It could really happen in real life. All right. Now, let's go down to the bottom. With my pencil, remember this week we're looking for those words that have the er blends at the beginning. So let's go ahead and circle fur together right here. Fur, ed. What's that word? Fred. What does B-I-G spell? What does B-A-G spell? Bag. Here's a gur. Let's circle that together. Gur, ah, m. Graham. Who do you think Graham is? Okay, what does T-A-N spell? Tan, and we've talked about that tan. What does tan mean? Like a light brown. Yeah, what about C-A-P? Cap. Cap. What is a cap? A hat that you kind of like usually wear to play what? Like a baseball hat, yep. I see or by the door, on the floor by the door. So what's that word? Or. For. And hopefully you know what D-A-D spells. Okay, so you should be able to read this by yourself. You need to read it two or three times by yourself. These two sentences at the bottom. At home, press pause, practice reading those sentences, and press play when you're ready to read together. Okay, I practiced reading it three times, so we should be ready to read together. Fingers ready under the word Fred. Are you ready? Ready and read. Fred. Ooh, wait till I see ready read, okay? Ready and read. Fred has a big bag. Graham has a tan cap. It is for dad. So who do you think is Fred? The boy. Do you want to give him a quick label? Fred. And who do you think is Graham? The grandma. Sometimes we call our grandmas something other than grandma, right? Maybe abuela, maybe you may, like, I called my grandmas uh, Mima and Gigi. Those are my grandmas. Abuela, abuelita. Yeah, my kids call their grandmas Nana and Nanny. Gigi, yeah. Okay, now I want you to look at that. It said, Fred has a what? Big bag. What is the adjective describing the bag? It's big. Good. It is big. Thanks for raising your hand. Okay. And Graham has a, what adjective is describing the cap? A tan. Tan cap. It's telling me what color the cap is. Who's it for? Dad. Dad. It is for dad. So let's see what else they're going to give dad for a present, maybe. All right. Turn the page. Get your highlighter ready. <clears throat> the, oh, I see the two times, will, in, it, I see two more, I got in, uh-huh, up, <coughs> and can, very good, okay, highlighter down and pencil ready, let's circle the fur in for red, 
Oh, I want you to underline this word right here because it's tricky. It looks like hauled. It's hold. Like I'm going to hold something in my hand. Yeah, what about B-A-G? What's that spell? Bag. Circle this grr right here. Grr. Am. Circle this dr right here. Dr. Up. Drop. We know T-A-N. We know C-A-P. And can you tell me what P-O-P spells? And I see an exclamation. So remember, this is really the only tricky one is this word right here, hold. So what we do in our class is we do what's called whisper read when we practice reading these sentences. That means that our eyeballs are moving, our mouth is moving, and our fingers are moving while we practice reading these sentences. We practice reading them two or three times. When you get done reading, read it again. And then we'll come back and read together. Press pause and practice reading. Okay, let's read together. Fingers ready. Under the word Fred. Put your finger under Fred. Ready and read. Fred can hold up the bag. Graham will drop the tan cap in it. Pop. Okay, so Fred's holding the bag, and what's Graham doing? Dropping the bag, the cap inside the bag. How come it said pop? Because it jumped up. I think it's, what do you think, C Valley? Maybe the bag made noise. Well, I think it's the noise that the hat made when it, that she dropped it in the bag. Pop. And she popped it in there, right? Sometimes we have words that are, we call them sound words. Okay? So they did that to tell us the sound of the hat dropping into the bag. Okay, next page. Uh-oh, what do you see happening here? The little girl, yeah. Maybe she's going to take the hat out or something. I don't know. They're playing with the dog in the back, so they're not really watching what she's doing. Get your highlighter ready. Can and it is, is, is a, a the, the get has, has and very good. Highlighter down and pencil ready. Let's sound out that first word. J -e Jill. Jill. We know B A G spells bag. We got Jill again. Underline this tricky one. What's that word? Animal. animal. It looks like animal, but it's animal. What about R-E-D? Red. Red. And here's a frog. Exclamation mark. So press pause. Practice reading those sentences two or three times each. And then we'll come back and read together. All right, let's read together. Fingers under the word Jill. Fingers ready? Waiting for fingers ready. Ready and read. Jill can get the bag. Jill has an animal. It is a red frog. Oh, so who's Jill? Let's give her a quick label, Jill. It is? Yep. Jill, and what does Jill have? What does Jill have? What's she getting? She's got a frog, and she's getting into the bag, right? She's putting the frog in the bag. Maybe she's going to put the frog in the bag, yeah. What adjective is describing the frog on that page? It's red. Red, very good, a red frog. Okay. All right. <clears throat> You're right, she is. They're blowing up the balloons and playing with the dog, so she's sneaking that frog inside the bag, isn't she? Yeah. Highlighter ready. What do we need to highlight? It is... In the. I see the two times. Well, that's it. Highlighter down, pencils ready. Got the, in the, it is. Got those highlighted? Five words? Okay, I see an exclamation mark here. What's that word? P O P? Pop. Pop. Okay, all right. What about J I L L? What's that spell? Jill, here I see a dr up, and I'm going to underline the S. They put the ending S on that word. Now what is it? Drop. Drop. Skin. I know red. I'm going to circle fur and frog. We know bag, and here I see that or on the floor by the door. Four. 
and dad. So all these words are pretty easy to sound out. Practice reading this page two or three times and then press play. All right, let's read together. The first one is P-O-P, -P, fingers under P-O-P. -P. Ready? Ready and read. Pop! Jill drops the red frog in the bag. It is for dad. Oh, so what does Jill want to give to dad? Oh, she wants to give her her little red froggy, doesn't she? Do they know she's putting that in the bag? No. They don't. Next page. Oh, dad's opening his present. Get your highlighter ready and tell me what to highlight. Has a... It did and get has a did get it highlighter down and pencil ready. Ooh, what are, I'm gonna circle these marks. What are these called? Quotation marks. Quotation marks. What do quotation marks mean? Somebody's talking and there's a comma right here. Comma means we make a little pause. There's a comma here and some more quotation marks. Someone starts talking. Someone finishes talking right here. And a question mark. All right. <clears throat> now we said that this word right here comes after quotation marks a lot of the time. What's that word? Said. That's right. Oh, let's circle the grr in Graham and the fur in Fred. We know dad. We know red. And we've had this frog word. Now this word right here, I see O W. O W is in that taxi with the band-aid. It says what? Ow. So what's that word if I put ha at the beginning? Ow. How good. Ow, 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 ow. While we're thinking about those sounds that we know on Valentine, why do we practice reading these books? It helps us to become better readers. It helps us to find those words we already know. Helps us to circle the things that we're looking for and things that we know how to decode in words. And if you can spot the vowel in the word, what can you do? You can read any word. That's right. Good. Okay, practice reading this page to yourself. The only tricky word is the word said and how. All right, let's read together. Fingers ready on the word gram. There's some, ex or some quotation marks there. Someone's talking. Fingers ready. Ready and read. Graham, said Fred. Dad has a red frog. How did Dad get it? So they didn't know that that frog was in there. But look, Dad's wearing his new hat. He even has the price tag on it still. And there was a red frog in there. And Fred's like, how did Dad get a frog? We didn't give him a frog. <laughs> no. Okay, highlighter on the last page. Tell me what to highlight. Has. Oh, I see has two times. Is his. Good. I see his two times. Uh. Of. Good. At. And on. I see one more. And. Very good. You guys are doing great at finding those. Okay. Highlighter down and pencil ready. We know D-A-D. We know T-A-N. We know C-A-P. We know D-A-D. We know R-E-D. Then I see a fur og. What about top? What's that spell? Top. We know C-A-P. I see a fur in for red and a comma. Jill, comma, and there's a grr am, and a grr in, and then D-A-D -D is dad. What is a grin? To smile, that's good. All right. I want you to practice reading that to yourself. Press pause, practice two or three times, then press play. Okay, let's read together. Fingers ready. Under the word dad. Ready and read. Dad has his tan cap. Dad has a red frog on top of his head. Oh, sorry, on top of his cap. Keep reading. Fred, comma, Jill, comma, and Graham grin at Dad. What does it mean that they grin at him? 
They smile at him. Yes. Now we talked a little bit this morning about commas in a series. When I have a list of something, I need to put commas between. So why did they put a comma between Fred, Jill, and Graham? Take a little break so that we know they're separate people. His name isn't Fred Jill, right? His name is it's Fred, comma, Jill, comma, and Graham. So that there's three people there. We're not done. Please sit down. Okay. What's the adjective describing the cap? Tan. What's the adjective describing the frog? Red. Red. Good. So what did Dad do with the frog? Put it on top of his hat, didn't he? Okay. So who are the characters in this story? Jill. Jill. Dad. Mom. Mom, no. Graham. Fred, good. What's the setting of this story? Where are they at? In their house. Did the setting change at all? No, they stayed there the whole time. So what happened in the beginning of this story? What did Fred and Graham buy or put in the bag? A cap. But Jill decided to do what? Put a frog in there, yeah. Did Dad like them both? He did. Okay. Could this really happen in real life? It could, yes, it could happen. So this is what kind of fiction then? Realistic, Realistic fiction, very good. Okay, I want you at home to practice reading this book several times, then send your teacher a video of you reading the book. We're gonna read it together again here at school.